God's so good. I'm going to share this testimony of what he did right now. <sighs> Let me show you. All right, this is Sammy. Sammy um, is not very good. I haven't been holding her a lot because she's been very scared since we first rescued her like over a month ago. Two months ago, I think. And, um, she, um, she lost weight recently, very quickly. And because I don't hold her every day, she, um, um, I didn't realize, I just thought, hmm, she looks like she's shrinking. And my husband was saying, hey, she's not eating. And I'm like, oh, well, she's okay. She's okay, right? But no, she looked, she dropped weight real quick. And now she changed and she's very sweet and purry. <laughs> I think she just needed more, more love. Or I don't know. Maybe it was having all the kittens here. The kitten cats are very like curatorial. I think it affects them all. Like we had a, we, we had a lot of kittens this season and I think it was upsetting about them all. So, but anyway, she changed. She's sweet now, and she might be Sophie's replacement. Cause Sophie's not working out. I'm trying to find her a home. And um, anyways, this is the miracle that God did. Sammy. Needs to go to the vet. Like, she's doing better. She's starting to eat. She's not as dehydrated. But she's still very skinny. And she's still dehydrated, even though it's not as bad. And she's just not. And she, she threw up on the bed, too. She needs to go to the vet. You know, God says in the scriptures that, um, about caring for for our animals but I don't know how the scripture goes I don't remember but he talks about caring for the animals you have to do that you know so just be like oh, okay just die I don't know like sometimes that's the situation with their condition it happens but um I don't know I just feel like it's not right not to take her to the vet so I'm going to take her to the vet. I think she's still savable. And also a benefit to her being cared for is maybe we'll get this medicine, which I think is the cause of her weight loss. It's called Album. It's for coccidia. Um, coccidia causes diarrhea. It's a parasite. And um, it can kill kittens real quickly. So hopefully this bat will give us a whole bunch because I'm going to tell him I get kids all the time to find a home for them and I need more medicine for these other kittens that get the same thing because it's contagious I can't bring and pay like 65 to dollars per kitten to see the vet I can't do that that's Oh, not even rational. Hopefully, God will work through that vet and give me a big bottle of elbow medicine, which will be wonderful when I get kittens with coccidia. But miracle B, this is the miracle that God did today. Uh, 
Um, when I called the vet, I did not have any appointment until Friday, and it's Monday. And I was like, God, I'm giving it to you. I'm trying to do what's right by you, according to the word, and really care for this precious girl. And <sighs> no appointment until Friday. You know, that's not going to work because she's in critical condition and needs fluids and she needs medicine immediately yesterday and yesterday was the weekend so we couldn't take her um i don't know how much they charge on the weekends but i don't think it's cheap 10 to 5 uh, probably 9 to 5 i don't know anyways they had no appointment till Friday. And I was like, okay, God, well, you can heal her. And if she dies, she dies. At least she's happy right now. She's purring a lot. And, um, you know, I tried. The girl was so nice. I wasn't mad. I could feel like a spirit of offense trying to get in, like, being like, what? How can you not have anything available? My cat is sick. But, you know, I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. It's a situation, right? I'm not going to get mad. Um, anyways, I was very humble and I didn't get in to anger, which would be foolish and fleshly. So, but, the, but God, he's, he gives grace to the humble and he resists the proud. So I choose to be humble <laughs> and, um, praise God. She calls me back after making an appointment for Friday and says that somebody called, canceled their appointment for the next day. Oh, I was telling her how I don't want to pay the $95 walk-in fee, too. Because she's like, call tomorrow. Maybe you could be a walk-in. And and I was like, yeah, but that's $95. I don't really want to buy that. I don't want to pay that. I'd rather pay the $65 because we're already going to spend a lot of money for um, tests and, and everything, you know. So I'm like, I don't want to pay the $95. So she calls me back and she says somebody canceled their appointment for 130 and you can bring Sammy in at 130 and it's $65. That is so god. That is so cool. He's so kind. Um praise the Lord. You know, maybe I should be willing to pay $95. Maybe I'm I'm wicked in that way that I don't want to spend that money, but yeah, the vets are expensive. Money, money is not, you know, it's, it's a, something you need to live in this world. And, I don't know. Um, we're not rich. But. Praise the Lord. $65 tomorrow to see the vet and hopefully we'll get the medicine we need and she got an appointment for tomorrow hallelujah praise God he's good he does miracles just wanted to come in here and share that because there's a scripture that says make known the deeds of God among your people and I think by sharing videos like this, sharing what God does, it will um, help increase your faith in God. And seeing the little miracles that he does. He does. He does little miracles all the time. Big miracles, little miracles. Heals our body. Last night, I had a horrible pain in my body. Like... 
like in my stomach it was like but in my ch chest it's like hard to explain where it is in my body it's like in the middle like it's like like here and oh I hurt I was hurting it hurt so bad I don't know what was wrong with me but I was calling on Jesus I looked like a baby. I looked like a woman having a baby last night. I was in all sorts of different positions to get comfortable and um, help me through the pain. I was calling on the Lord, and I tell you, five and 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 my husband's like, should I take you to the ER? And and I was like, no, they're not nice. They're not nice. No, I've been to the emergency room too many times. I am not interested in going to no hospital. I am not interested in doing that. No, I if I'm going to die, I'd rather die in the comfort of my own home <laughs> with the Lord. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm leaning on Jesus. He's my deliverer. He's my healer. He's my great physician. And, um, yeah. And if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And God's got me and he's going to get me through this. And he, and shh, about like within five minutes, the pain was gone. It stopped. Oh, I'm so grateful. I, I had such a, yesterday, I had such a pressure in my chest and it did this tightness. I can't even under, I can't understand it. I can't, I don't know what it is. It's, painful um i don't know if it's spiritual if it's physical if it's spiritual and manifesting in the physical i don't know but shh, i was begging god to take it away and if he did not take it away immediately um and it's still not 100 percent gone but it is a lot better and a lot more manageable and that is god because he cares for me he cares for me better than any human being in this world He's a good father, and he's my great physician, and he's my deliverer. He's my all in all and everything. I'm so I'm so grateful, so grateful. Imagine all the people in the world in situations or people that are being bombed in Israel, right? And they end up in these situations with no one to help them. God is there. They just reach out. He's there. I think he's even kind to the wicked people and their sufferings. Takes and eases it. Helps them. They, they don't care. They still reject him. I bet he even shows himself to them and how kind he is. And they see, give them a glimpse, an understanding of it. And they'll deny it, deny him. Sad. God's kind. He is so kind. I don't fear death. I don't fear anything to come. That's not true. <laughs> when I think about being burned alive with a fire, I, I'm going to need God. <laughs> I'm really going to need God to help me with that. <laughs> I, that's the one thing I do fear, but I'm trying not to fear it. <laughs> He's good. Want to share that? Hope your faith was increased. Maybe you're inspired looking at my paintings to do some art for Jesus. You could put a scripture and take your paintings to a nursing home and give it to those people. And they can tape it on their wall. They don't even need to put a nail or anything and they could tape it on you could tape it on their wall 
with some um, masking tape on the edges and other people can see the scripture. You could do it in uh, uh, watercolor paper or mixed media paper and, or whatever you're doing and marker paper, whatever, whatever your medium is. Get the appropriate paper, put it on a paper and um, give it to people and get it up on walls. It could really bless multiple people. And it and that having a scripture could be really powerful. Along with the image, it'll attract their attention and it's anointed by it can be anointed by God if you do it unto him. And he'll use your art for his glory. And for the comforting and the edifying of his people. And for the conviction of sinners that don't know him, that are in the darkness like I once was. I did not know. I was just, oh, oh, some of the stuff I did was all oh, bad. It was bad. It was bad. I did not know the Lord. I didn't know what light was. I didn't know what righteousness was. I knew wickedness. Followed my own sinful flesh. In the fallen state of man. I was fallen from God. I didn't know God. I talked about God. I didn't know God. grateful for his word so you can share that word that will give people a light and it'll be oh my word god is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path here's a a beginner's painting this is when i was first learning watercolor and i was first um 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 learning to paint pan candles i was getting into candles now look look this is the one. I'm one of my best. Oh, oh, I love it so much. Oh, I know what to do to make that pop more. Oh, I gotta put this other kind of yellow in the candle. But yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, oh, it has like it's the background is water droplets. You can't tell that well because it's in a yellow, but is water droplets and then um, the candle water and fire and light <laughs> all the things of the lord his word is like living water his um word is a lamp unto your feet and he's an all-consuming fire which i love because he he consumes everything in me that's not good it makes me pure for his glory. Alright, this was there was a lot in this video. I don't even know what the title is. But let me leave you with one scripture here that I put on the painting. It just has to be written in with a Sharpie, but it's already in um my my awesome husband's handwriting. His handwriting is so good. It says if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9, King James Version. Hallelujah, isn't that beautiful? He just wants you to come to light. Confess your sins to him. Be real about things you've done that are not right. And if you think that they are right, even though you, I mean, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna end this video here. Confess your sins. Come to the light. He's kind. You don't have to hide. Just be real. He'll cleanse you. Here's the scripture again. First John one nine, King James version. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh, he's so good.
Here's Bella. My little cat. Bella. A gift from Jesus. She is the sweetest cat. My daughter chose her over like three cats we had at the time to choose. She chose the best. She is so sweet. Her personality and temperament is so beautiful. She's like